All right, so starting off in the new 2024 Toyota Tacoma Limited. <laughs> Hi, Mary. <laughs> and uh, this is, uh, again, a pre-production model. So this isn't in its final state. And uh, so I'll give it as an accurate as representation as I can. But for now, let's go for a drive and I'll give you my impressions after living with this for a week. Okay, so after a week of driving the new Tacoma Limited, um, and putting about 300 miles on this thing, I have some thoughts. And the first thing I wanna say is that overall, objectively, <laughs> I think this is way better to drive than the previous generation. Um, we have now, of course, a turbocharged four-cylinder engine, which makes, I believe, 271 horsepower and 317 pound-feet of torque. And even though we all love the old V6 from the previous gen, uh, especially with its reliability, uh, this feels much more, it's just easier to drive. The, the, there's more torque, it feels way more responsive. And like I said, it's just more enjoyable to drive. That said, there has been a couple interesting things that I've noticed about it, uh, not negatives or really positive, just interesting observations. The first thing is, I don't think that fuel economy is that much better. Uh, I just had to fill this up, actually. This has a smaller fuel tank, and over the course of the last week and about 270 miles, uh, I averaged about 18, almost nine, about 18 miles per gallon. So okay but not great and that's if i remember correctly I, I tested two of the previous gen tacomas which i'll link uh you can go watch those reviews and how it compares um but i think that's about the same fuel economy as i got in those i might have got like 17 so one mile per gallon better in this but coupled with the small fuel tank that means I'm, I only was able to get about 270 miles out of a full tank. Uh, so if you get one of these, you know you're probably gonna be uh, filling up pretty often. Uh, but that said, it is definitely more responsive and, and easier to drive. With the last gen, with the, last gen the way it was geared uh, with that six speed, um, and that V6 is it, it hunted all the time and it was shifting, 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 and it was hard to drive and not honestly very enjoyable to drive daily. And this is way better that way. Another thing that I've really liked about this Tacoma is, um, is just how much more comfortable it is than the previous generation. The, the previous generation, I appreciated it really for its simplicity. I love that. Uh, it's the same reason why I love the fifth gen Forerunner. Um, this is definitely way updated inside. The the interior feels much more modern, especially with this humongous infotainment screen. Um, but the best thing about this interior is just how much more comfortable it is. The seating position is is much improved. The seats are pretty good. They are on the stiffer side of uh, Toyota seats that we've tested recently. They're not bad. They definitely are just more stiff. That said, I do think they are an improvement over the last gen, especially coupled with the better seating position. One thing though that is important to me, and I don't know how important it is to other people, but Back seat space is really important to me. As you can tell, my daughter's back there. My son, who's out of frame, is back there. And they they are eight and five years old. And they're pretty cramped. I'm five foot nine. And if I were any taller, this back seat would be pressing into their legs. And so if you have kids or adults that you're gonna be hauling around, even for shorter distances, um, they're not going to be super comfortable. Uh, this is a, it's a mid-sized truck, but it's, it feels and looks big, like bigger than, uh, than what you're expecting. 
but it's surprisingly small inside. I have I have a decent amount of room, like shoulder room. I'm pretty comfortable. I think there's a little bit more room up here, maybe a little bit more than the new Colorado or just about the same. But I thought, I think the Colorado and the Frontier both have more rear seat space. And so if that's something that's important to you, I don't know that this is gonna be your first pick, but I mean, you can put kids back there in a pinch for shorter distances, but even on just the short drive down here and my daughter who again is five, I can feel her, her feet, you know, occasionally pressing into my, into my seat.